Hello friends, Brad Smith here from The Way with our midweek study helps for our passage for this week, which is uh, 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. Uh, talked a little bit about it earlier in the week, talked a little bit about it more in detail today, and then we'll really dig into it this Sunday at The Way. So if you're in Clarksville, come see us. Uh, otherwise, you can check out our live stream on Facebook, and we'll hang the sermon also on our YouTube channel. The link will be in the description below. You can check us out. And, uh, and I hope you'll be edified by this passage, and, and I've really uh, enjoyed digging into it thus far. So I'm going to read it, and then we'll talk about it. So 1 John chapter 3, verse 16 through 18 says, By this we know that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children... Let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. So John continues to challenge us and to challenge our faith. You know, I don't, I don't think if, if you're not being challenged in your faith, uh, then are you hearing the word of God? Are you, are you reading the word of God? If, if you're never being challenged and, and the word is never really stretching you out in your faith, and here is a, a, another example of John really challenging us. Now, earlier in chapter 2, he talks to us about the opposite. He says, hey, if you say that you're in the light, and you say that you are of Christ, but you hate your brother, then you're not really in the light. You're in the darkness. You can't actually be of Christ and have hatred in your heart for your brother. And here he's kind of talking about the other end of the spectrum, that if you are of Christ, you will have a love for your brothers, whereby you will lay down your life for your brothers. You physically won't be able to stand by and see a brother in need and not meet that need and let us love and not in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. He's talking about generosity, true generosity, which I have entitled tangible love. And he's saying if you have this love for your brothers that that God gives us, it will manifest itself in love, in generosity for your brothers. So uh, in the Western church, uh, we have perfected the art of asking as little as possible uh, of our people. And, and we ask as little as possible and still try to generate within you the feeling that you are contributing uh, to the work, to the, to the cause. And, and maybe there's many different reasons for that, uh, but we put uh, as little demand as possible upon you. We make absolutely uh, no demands if we can get away with that. And I think sometimes there's a fear that you'll just leave and go to another place where you won't be called upon to sacrifice, to, to give sacrificially, to lay down your life for your brothers. And we see some of this too in, in some of the modern Western uh, short-term missions. Uh, and, and again, a lot of these short-term missions, Jesus would look at these and, and have no idea what they were. You know, you, you pay a little bit of money and uh, go to a faraway land, uh, maybe interact with some people you'll never see again, hand out some water bottles, some Bible tracts, whatever, and then leave, go home, feel good about yourself. Hey, I was on mission so to speak, you know, I, I gave. Well, did you give sacrificially? Did you give of yourself? Was that truly laying down your life uh, for your brother? And I'm not sure that it is. Uh, and so uh, this week we're going to talk about Priscilla and Aquila, and we're going to look at an example of people who have laid down their lives for their brothers. Now, Priscilla and Aquila uh, are a missionary couple from the first century, the book of Acts. Uh, they're only mentioned a couple of different times in Scripture, uh, Book of Acts, 1 Corinthians, uh, Book of Romans, and they were, were companions of Paul. And what we're going to see is there is kind of a, a hierarchy of generosity uh, is the way we'll kind of frame it with Priscilla and Aquila as we dig into their life, or at least what little bit we can glean from Scripture, the, the limited Scripture we have concerning them. But I, I love doing case studies like that uh, on actual specific individuals. So hey, if you're in Clarksville this Sunday, come see us at The Way. Uh, otherwise, find a church. Uh, take your families to church. Men, take your families to church. Don't forget to, uh, uh, I've been reminded by our media guy to ask you not to forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, check out the links below and have a great and blessed week. God bless.